All right, I think we can probably get started. I am Sally Philbin, the Program Quality Director this year, and I'd like to introduce Gemma Reeser, who is our District Pathways Chair, and she is conducting and has conducted a number of trainings on pathways and using paths. We also have Lindy, who will be introduced in a few minutes by Gemma, who will be talking about a pathways treasure map. So without further ado, Gemma Reeser, who I have known for quite some time and is one of the backbones of Lakeside Speakeasy Club. Gemma, take it away. Thank you, Sally. And before I get started, well, I did record. I had a big reminder for myself on that. A couple of other items. Uh, it, <clears throat> we may not go the entire hour and a half, but we schedule this time so that we have sufficient time uh, should we need it. So just to let you know. Um, at least a portion of this evening will be more of a back and forth discussion. And we'll also have questions at the end. Feel free to raise your hands or send your questions in chat. Sally will be manning the chat, which I always appreciate. Thank you, Sally. And I also wanted to thank those of you who shared specific questions and concerns when you registered. That really helped me as I was putting together this session today. And if you feel that I haven't covered an item sufficiently um, or at all, feel free to bring it up at some point during the session or when we have questions. And then finally, we are recording tonight, which you all know. Uh, we've had challenges with that, but I am optimistic. And uh, towards the end of the session tonight, I will be providing a link for you in the chat uh, to provide some feedback and takeaways. And if I don't remember or Sally doesn't remember, can you help me? <laughs> because I have a tendency to forget. So that would be terrific. And onwards. Our agenda today is we're going to do introductions, and then we have a couple of brief announcements. We're going to talk about trainings, what we've had so far this year, and what we might have in the future. We're going to talk about the VP Pathways role. What are the responsibilities? What are the possibilities? And then we're going to talk about challenges and best practices, and that's a sort of a loaded uh, title, but it's also where we have a chance to have more of a back and forth about what we're struggling with and uh, what other folks might be doing um, that might help. And then finally, we're going to talk about upcoming pathways changes, very exciting, and then we'll have some questions. Okay, I'm going to throw it back at Sally, who is a DTM and our program quality director for District 57 this year. And Sally earned her DTM in the legacy program, and she is now passionate about pathways. Please help me welcome Sally, who has a few introductory words. Sally. All right. Well, thank you so much. I I'm really looking forward to the session tonight. We've had a lot of good response to the series of trainings on the use of pathways and how to select a path, how to complete a path. Tonight, we're going to be adding to that a little bit, but primarily, as Gemma mentioned, we're going to be talking about what's been going on out there. What are your challenges? What are some of the things that you've done to fix that? I'd also like to Am I introduced? I think, are you introducing Lindy, Gemma, or am I? I am. You are. All right. Well, that's all I have to say. Um, I, I kind <laughs> of did my introduction of you earlier. So back to you, Gemma. Okay. I also wanted to give you a little bit of background on Lindy. She has been a Toastmaster for about 33 years, and she is a DTM4. That means that she has four 
Distinguished Toastmaster Awards, which is pretty amazing. She's also had several leadership roles in District 57, including serving as a previous Pathways Chair. Lindy's working on a high-performance leadership project, uh, and the focus of that project is to help our district members jumpstart their Pathways journey. And she's going to talk about the Pathways tre Treasure Map, excuse me, Lindy. Thank you, Gemma. <clears throat> Good to be here this evening and nice to see some names that I recognize and some that I don't. So that's always fun, new people. Hmm. I put together this little game, which we're calling the Pathways Treasure Map, to encourage everybody to actually achieve the things in Pathways that we would like them to achieve. This is the incentive, a lovely new Navy tote bag with handy Toastmaster toys and tools inside. So this is aimed at people who've been in Toastmasters at least a year. And in order to qualify, they need to complete their first level one and show documentation or purchase a new path and show documentation. So if you are going to complete your level one, this is what you need to do, take a screenshot of the congratulations screen, which I'm about to show you in the next slide. When you complete your level one, send that picture to your area director, along with your name, club name, and path name, your personal name, your club's name, and your path name by December the 10th. And the area directors will forward it to me for final approval by December the 15th. Let the VP of education in your club know that you've completed a level one so that they can improve it by the due date. Any questions as I keep going? This is the congratulations screen. Whoops. So this my question. Congratulations is, screen. Yes, question. Go ahead. Question, yes. When does this start or when did it start? When did? I am not sure about that, Sally. When did it start? It's definitely already started, but I don't know when it actually did we, start. We st yeah, we started it in about August and we maybe even July, we were presenting it at um, officer training. Let me just, let my memory bank is coming to me. We started presenting actually at the area director training in June is when we started talking about this game. So that's when it started. And we have been making presentations about it at, at the various officer and area division director trainings and during these pathway trainings that we've been doing. So it's been, I, it's been I, in motion for a while. Can I ask what was behind the question? Yeah. yeah. So I would know when it started. Well, because I completed level one just a month ago or recently. Right. <laughs> I mean, you know. But so you are eligible then if that's what you're asking. Yes. Eligible, but uh, I may have some other people that are eligible also. And I just Great. wonder. Yeah. Victoria, is it your first level one? Well, I have a DT legacy DTM, so it's my first level one. And yeah, it was, is. Yeah, this was in this was in Laugh Lovers. Yeah. Okay. Congratulations. Yeah, I mean, well you know, yeah, actually, it was tells and dollars. I'll, I'll get another one in yeah. Laugh Lovers. That's, that's awesome. <laughs> He's yeah. on a run. <laughs> <laughs> I've got okay, and I got it. So you're eligible on both counts. You've been a member for more than a year and is your first Pathways Level 1. Right, Victoria? Thank you, yes. Okay, good, great. Okay, so this is the screen that you would need to uh, take a screenshot of and send it to your area director. Does anybody have any difficulty knowing who their area director is or how to find that out? Silence sounds like everybody knows who their area director is. That's good. Okay, moving on. Um, okay, so that was for a level one. For a path, if you have purchased a path, take a screenshot of that screen that shows you've purchased a path. It would be like a receipt. And send that to your area director along with your name, club name, path name, and the date you purchased it. The only difference for this one is the date you purchased it. And again, that information needs to reach the area director by December the 10th. 
after your area director approves it, they'll forward that information to me at lindy at lindysinclair.com for final approval by December the 15th. So the incentive can be sent to qualifying members and their area directors. Click. Any questions? I Stop came sharing. in late. Uh, what are we talking about? <laughs> Is there <laughs> some incentive I missed out on? Of course, I'm always interested in incentives. Uh, and I certainly just recently bought a new path, but um, what is this for? If, if you've been a member of Toastmasters for more than a year and you've just recently bought a path. Yes. Then your, you are your eligible. First yes. path, your first path. You've recently bought your first path. Oh, no, this is like my fifth path. Yeah, oh, okay. no, we're trying to jumpstart. Lindy is trying to jumpstart um, longer term members into using pathways. Oh, I see. Okay. That's not my problem. <laughs> okay. But please spread the word to other members of your club so that they know that this uh, program is available through the end of this calendar year. Okay. Um, there are some due dates that are earlier than that, but this is an HPL project for Lindy oh. and she's trying to, okay. to help members um, get going on, on pathways. I see. I see. Okay, uh, so all of our members are on pathways except for people who haven't, uh, some very new people that uh, we just need to onboard. Uh, but uh, so the this is some kind of game or some sort of incentive? It is, it is a game and it is ending at the end of the year. So, you know, you need to do it by December the 10th if you're going to do it and play the game. Okay. And you will get, and you will get um, a Navy tote bag, a Navy Toastmasters tote bag filled with to Toastmasters toys and tools. Oh, how sweet. Yeah, it is. It's great fun. So, yes. Um, so somebody in the chat asked if they could get the slide deck. Anybody who puts their email um, in the chat and asks for the slide deck, I will send it to you. So you can present it at your club. Any other questions? Yeah, hi, what is the dead drop or drop dead October 31st date? December the 10th. So you need to actually get well, it to your area director by December the 10th. What is the significance of October 31st though? On the screen uh, that, here? That's something else. That's not about the Pathways oh. Treasure Map. That's <laughs> something Thank else you. that came on the screen after I uh, stopped sharing. So. We're not, we're not up to that item yet. Yes, there we'll, any get more there. Oh, we'll get there. Yes. So anyone else have questions about the pathways treasure map or the slide deck about it? Okay. Again, if you'd like the slide deck, I'm happy to send it to you so you can present it at your club. And that concludes my part of the program. I'll pass control back to Gemma. Oh, Lindy, thank you so much. And I have just a brief announcement from Sally uh, to for all of you to take back to your clubs to make sure that um, that all of your officers' trainings have been correctly recorded. So recommend that you check your club distinguished performance report and make sure that the number of club officers that were trained for your club equals the number that are actually recorded. And if that number doesn't mesh, then you need to contact Sally as soon as possible. And that is her email right there. The cutoff date for this is October 31st. That is the drop dead cutoff date. Now, that means that I cannot make any more changes or corrections or additions or anything on the Toastmasters International site after October 31st. So the, the uh, distinguished report only shows up to four people. Is there another place in Toastmasters where we can find out actually how many people were trained? Um, that's that's the indicator for for which club? Uh, heart to heart. I mean, we've certainly we no. had like uh, eight. No, times. I know, and and I enter, and I entered heart to heart too. So what I would do hmm. is just play it safe. Send me an email and say, oh my gosh, my dashboard says four. 
um, and I'll go in to the official site and confirm that they have the correct record because I, I know for heart to heart that we may be still discussing one, but it's certainly not down at the level of four. So oh, I see they put all of them. I didn't think they put more. I thought they just put a check mark when you had up to four. I didn't know that they actually told us how many. Oh, on the oh, you know what? You're right. You're out. You're right. Okay, so your hmm. I thought that Elliot they were Elliot Rogers had, Elliot Rogers not too long ago sent a list to all of the clubs of all of their, a, a record of all of their officers that had been trained. Right, and we, yeah. at one time we did, we had one that wasn't, but we had one officer who actually has both VP pathways and secretary role. And I right. can't tell whether she got credit for both of those officer roles. Um, yeah, oh, just shoot me an email and ask. It's easy enough for okay. me to check. Thank you. You okay. bet. Okay. Okay, back to you, Gemma. Moving on. Okay, trainings. I wanted to go through what we've had trainings on so far this year. We had starting pathways, selecting a path in July. Then we moved on to launching and completing a project in August, and then leveling up finishing your level in September, as well as moving on to new adventures. And we talked a little bit about the T DTM in September as well. Tonight, we are gathering. That's the October session. And now we're kind of thinking about future trainings and what might be helpful for you. Uh, the suggestion came up last time in September that it would be helpful to have some sort of a training on base camp tracking and reporting. And I think that's an excellent idea. And we've been talking about how best to deliver that to you. So we'll be working on that. But I would also love to hear other ideas either tonight or um, after this session, you can certainly email me. I will provide my contact information at the end of the evening. That's trainings. The VP Pathways role. This role is a little quirky because it's not recognized as an official club officer role by Toastmasters and it doesn't have access to base camp. I think the inability to access base camp is a little bit of a challenge. For smaller clubs, especially, some of you may be in a position where you're filling both the VP for education and the VP for pathways. And that works because you've got that access to pathways. But for us other VPPs, that includes me, <laughs> it's a challenge because we don't have the access. And Sally understands that. And she has been diligently behind the scenes working to obtain base camp access for this role. So just know that. Uh, but in the meantime, your partnership with the VP for education is really critical. Actually, your partnership with the VP for education and the VP for membership is quite important. I think one question some of you might be thinking about is how do you build and maintain that partnership to ensure a really seamless onboarding and continuing support experience for your members. And I was thinking a lot about that tonight, and it really comes down to collaborating and communicating. Who is going to do what specifically and copying your partners on any major communications, emails is very important. 
uh, I was talking with Sally about this and she reminded me that it's okay if members get the same information twice or even more times than twice because sometimes they need it. Uh, but you want to be sure, and that's why the collaboration and the communication is so important, that you're not giving conflicting information and that nothing is being overlooked. So that's why partnership is at the top of this list. In addition to that, responsibilities include orienting new and existing members to pathways, training club members on just the basics of the Pathways system and the program, supporting the club, and that may look different from club to club, in monitoring Pathways progress, uh, troubleshooting challenges, serving as a liaison with me, the D57 Pathways Chair, and updating club members on pathway changes. And that will become even more important next year, but we'll talk about that. Does anybody have any questions so far or comments? Well, I do have a question. Sure. And that is uh, that I have been monitoring. In fact, I found out a whole bunch of things about how I can find I can discover what every member is doing by going through Basecamp. What I'm running into is that I write down that information and say I approve somebody's finishing a level, but then remembering what that path was and what that level was for which person when I go into put it in for the club's uh, accomplishments, its goals for DT, for distinguished. And is there any way, because now I, I'm looking at the distinguished report and it's not matching what I thought I had put in. Where is there a place where I can see what has actually been submitted for the club record for distinguished? Do you know what I'm talking about? There's two I steps. I may know what you're talking about, but I'm not <laughs> sure. So you did do the two parts where you... Approved. Well, I thought I did, but it's like, how do you remember those things? Because sometimes I will approve somebody and then I, uh, in Pathways, right. on the base camp, and then later on I'll go and put it in. And I was, actually, I went back at, because I've just become the VP of Education and I found that there were probably eight or nine of our club members who had finished not only one level, but sometimes multiple levels that had never either been approved because they forgot to hit that last button mm -hmm. or, uh, at, or they did do that, but it never got registered as an accomplishment for the club. And so I was putting in a lot of stuff and I, and I may have forgotten somebody because I look at distinguished and I still see that we haven't got level three, but I've got uh, three different people that I know achieved level three and I'm un not understanding why that's not showing up like weeks later. Well, I will say that I've done that on more than one occasion that I've forgotten the second part. I, I, I haven't done it for a while. Well, that's because I haven't been in the role for a while, but I do remember when I was in that role and I, it really took a, a little while for me to get to the point where I could remember both Doing pieces. both of them. It yeah. shouldn't be that difficult, but I don't know. It's, it's challenging. It is, sometimes. especially when you're dealing with like five or six different members and they all have different levels and, and a different, and, and then I actually gave somebody credit before she did her last speech because I, I thought she had done it, but then no, she actually did it the next day. Fortunately, she did do it. But it, that, that interface is, the, the step between the two is fraught with possible error because it'll show up there and, and you know, there's no quick way to go back and check to see if they've actually done it or not. You know what I'm? Yes. So what I would say uh, is that um, to the extent that you can, I would try to do both pieces at the same time. I mean, do the base camp approval and then immediately go 
into uh, the Toastmasters website uh, to give the the uh, the yeah. club the credit. But here's yeah. the problem: I've literally, and this is crazy, been having to take individual club members who have been club members for years and take them through the base camp and make sure that they know how to give themselves credit. I was shocked that they didn't know and that that many people had been going on never giving. I mean, I had one person who had completed a level and done to, completed a path and completed two more levels and it had never been recorded. I was like, so, uh, you know, I, I think that there was like a real disconnect and a lot of the people are t having, oh, I just want to give speeches. I don't really want to do this. It's an extra step. But when I walk them through it, then they start to realize how to do it. And I think they're more likely to do it now. But to remember that and then going back and, and giving that uh, information to the club record is another step. And I may have, I don't know, I guess I'm going to have to call Toastmasters International. They would have a record of all the people that has been put in, in, uh, in the club record. Isn't that correct? Yes, they would. There ought to be a way that you can pull check that, that out. That's what I want to know. Is there a way I can to check, check on that? And okay. I will also say that it might, it might be worth having a little presentation during one of your meetings to help all of the members at the same time just remember what they need to do on their part to make sure that they're getting the information to you. Right. Uh, um, well, I, I literally wanted to meet with all, every member to find out what their goals were and also to find, I mean, I'm telling you, okay. I struggled last year to, to get the, uh, um, the distinguished points and then this year, because, because I was treasurer and this year I'm VP of uh, education and I'm finding out that all these people never submitted this stuff and it's a shock. Well, maybe I can connect with you offline and let's okay. see what we can do uh, okay. to identify where, what's happening. And then the other thing I would say, and I'll talk about this more later, is that there is hope. Okay. Um, because there are changes coming in 2024, and it may help you solve this situation that you're having. So may I ask a question? This is Dee Marie. Hi. Uh, Michelle, when you were describing the fact that all those people's work or their base camp submissions had not moved past that point, did I miss or did I not hear the word Club Central? Because once you complete the base camp and you get the notification in your email saying that you've completed it now, blah, blah, whatever, then some, your VTE is to be notified by that individual person oh, that I got see. that email. And huh. then when they get that email notifying them that they've completed base camp, they then need to contact the VTE. And a lot of people may not take that as being important because the email says, congratulations, you've completed it. And they mm -hmm. think, wow, I'm through, I've done it. But it also tells you to evaluate it and move forward. But the VTE has to then go in Club Central and move it forward to get the completion of everything that has been submitted. I had to go to, I've been to Toastmasters International on so many occasions, they know me well, because I am not going to do a lot of work and not get credit for it. But I also needed to know the process so being the VPP, I can help someone else to understand what it is they need to be doing. And that is what I found out. And I was assuming, I really was assuming, because I had done everything that I was supposed to do. I had assumed that everything that I had done, I had a whole path, just what you described. Right. I had a whole path sitting with all five levels completed and not moved out of base camp. I had completed it in base camp. And it wasn't until I got to... Toastmasters International, because I kept checking with, I'm in two different clubs, and I kept checking with both clubs saying, so what, what did you do with whatever and have you done? And nobody knew what I was talking about. So when right. I went to Club Toastmasters Central. International, that was the remedy. They needed to go into Club Central and simply give credit to that club for whatever levels I wanted there and the other levels wherever. And that's, that's the key. 
Thank well, you. Well, I know that. What I don't know is how I can find out who I have submitted and who I haven't, because I was dealing with a whole bunch of people all at once. And see, to... right now that sounds like Postmasters International. Yep, it does. But unfortunately, mm -hmm. every time I call them, there's either there's nobody there or there's a huge line, and I don't that, have. I one. agree with you on that. I agree with you on that. Well, let me see if we can, if I can help you uh, after our session at some point. Maybe we can connect, and then um, I'm happy to share that information with Victoria's anyone. Victoria's got in. her hand up. Victoria, just jump in there. Obviously, you can't. You're not going <laughs> to yes, interrupt. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> well, I was just waiting for the right moment. But uh, it, to answer, I believe it was, uh, I'm not sure who the first, oh, maybe it was, no, the other person talking. Uh, De Marie? Yes. And uh, so out in pathways there are reports that you can pull and you also when you there are reports that you pull that you, uh, you have to update update here and there too but in those reports you can pull up and you may need to go to toastmasters international and talk to the education department as you're talking about and the best time to get them is early in the morning <laughs> most days <laughs> i have spoken to them many times because of these same issues yeah. and but you you can pull the report down for individual people that tells you what levels they are i mean it's time consuming and uh, all of that but that's how you can get an individual report if you can read it i mean they have uh, different ways of looking at it so you can read it in a graph too and 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 that way you know where everybody is and the other thing is and I was trying to look at it as we find it for as I was talking but I did find somewhere a spreadsheet where you could actually use this spreadsheet and I'm not sure if it was out at TI or on free toast toast where I could actually put where everybody is. And I would have that at my fingertips. If I find it, I could send it to you, Gemma. And oh, that would be awesome. Yeah. And so uh, if you give me your, send me your email and, uh, are you going to give it to us at the end? You said, yes. so, uh, then I will look for it and hopefully find it tomorrow and send that to you. And that would be, I thought very helpful. <laughs> This is Cassandra. I'm the VPE of um, for Toastmasters uh, for Leaders Worldwide, and um, there's a report that you can pull once you get into base camp. You approve the members' um, pass. You can also go back and take a look at what you have approved, what has gone through. And then you can also go in and see what has been submitted to base uh, Camp Central. And then you can also see what needs to be um, going through for the second part of it at Camp Central. So you can also see the, those reports. So what Michelle was talking about, you, you don't know if you have approved the second part. You can see through that report what needs to go through for the second part. Where is that? Is that daily reports? Where is that, uh, uh, that report that shows you where all the people who you've approved in Club Central have been approved? Because I, I, I can't, I can go through it. I don't know exactly. I, I know how to go to it. I can't tell you exactly where it's at, but I can go to it and I'll, I'll go through it and I can tell you That'd be tomorrow great. Where, 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 where it's at. I'd rather do that than have to try and get through to Toastmaster yeah, International. There is that report. <laughs> yeah, I, I went to um, TI and they actually, um, Toastmasters Talk International, and they showed me exactly where it is. So what you're talking about, there is a report just for right. that. Thank you. So can I, can I respond to the question too? And yes. um, I'm going to ask particularly George Marshall to correct me if this is wrong, but if you've approved somebody in club central it will show up in the daily reports okay daily reports so just under educational achievements it will show mm -hmm. if you've done that mm -hmm. um, but that does not guarantee that you've also done it in base camp 
you oh, but it's be easy to, to see it in, you in be base camp. Do, you wouldn't be able to do it in Club Central unless it was done in base camp. Yes, you I'm can. Afraid, I'm no. afraid you can. Yes, you can. Yes, Cassandra. unfortunately, you can. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah, yeah it's very, next, very yeah. dangerous. Um, so, again, George, if you're able to answer, the, is the only way that you can tell if you've approved somebody in base camp is through the reports in base camp? Right. So you, you yourself have not prepared a report that shows if people have approved in one place and not the other. No one besides base camp managers has access to base camp for any club. It is simply not available to me. Ah, uh, right. Yeah. Okay. I mean, only three of seven officers can even get into yeah. base camp manager. It's It's locked down really hard. Thank you. So can I ask you, what would be the objective to going into base camp first? I mean, for a club, Club Central first and other than base camp first? Uh, well, you might have thought you had approved it and then it turns out you didn't or you messed up, which is what happened to me. I, you know, I was approving and dealing with so many different members that I lost track of who I was. <laughs> I was supposed to approve and I approved. Fortunately, she did finish that speech the next day and we did get her done. So she's fine. But yes, you can, um, if you go into base camp, it's just basically got the next levels that are available to that person, the next level that they can finish. But you have to go into base to uh, base camp first and make sure they've been approved. But it's easy to see if they've been approved. You know, you can go right in, search their name and then click on pathways and it shows all the paths they're working on and you click on each of the paths and you see what they've completed. It's mm -hmm. right there. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's not a good thing. Well, awesome. I can certainly poke around and see what I can find, Michelle. Well, I think that uh, Cassandra, oh, well, and George said that if you go into daily reports, you can you find it. Okay. You, you, so yeah, I'm going to look there. And I think the reason why I, daily reports, it actually goes with the person for, and I don't know whether it tells you if there are different, if it's different clubs, I'll have to see. Um, mm -hmm. You know, like if I, you have the same person who's giving, uh, their awards to different clubs. Right. The Dee Marie is D Mar D Marie's yes, set up. It that does. Way. It does. And, and okay. so so D Marie, I, I'm able to do that for Dee Marie. She has mm -hmm. several clubs that she has. And so she's putting some over here and she's putting some over here. And so um, I'm able to do that for her. Great. You can sort the daily reports by any of the headings. So if you sort right. them by member name, you'll see all the awards for that person and all, all the different clubs they gave them to. Okay. Right. Right. I need to look at that. Okay. Well, I thought I'd just put the challenges and best practices slide on the screen because we were already talking about them. <laughs> and this is where I really thought that we could just have a back and forth discussion, brainstorming, just talk uh, about some of the challenges that we've all been dealing with. And what I did is I pulled some of the comments that I'd received over the past couple of months and slapped them on there. So I don't know if there is any particular uh, challenge that's on there that somebody would like to talk about or yeah, is this, is, that I this is Michael I'd, I'd like to get some input from others on how to get our members to finish their paths properly they, they do the projects and it seems like they don't do all the necessary steps to complete them they just move on to the next project mm -hmm. is there any suggestions on how to help people other than holding their hand and doing it, it doesn't seem to be too complicated to me, but. Is it the online piece of it that they don't get yes. through? Yes. You know, you do the assessment, 
before you do the assessment afterwards and then you mark it complete mm -hmm. and then yeah. the VPE will get a, a notice that it's been completed by the member and then I approve it. Have you, have you done any kind of a training for the club members on how to go through that process? It seems obvious to some of us, but it yeah. could be a little. Well, it, we have, and I'm going to do it again tomorrow or Friday morning, because it seems like we even have some officers that are having difficulty with it. Okay. And I've, I've offered, you know, hey, just it takes 10 minutes. We'll do a, a Zoom meeting and share the screens and get you done. So. I that's... wonder, I wonder if you could have a kind of a regular check-in at the club um, just to ask folks, how often do you meet once a week? Something yeah, like that. Yeah, we meet once a week. I was gonna suggest uh, every quarter going through this to verify yeah. that people have completed their paths, but I keep track of them every week on who's given a talk yet that I don't I don't see it come through on pathways because yeah. they haven't completed it in pathways it's 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 a tough one uh, do, when you did the training did you have something in writing that you sent to them afterwards yeah I think we had screenshots that we sent to them and I'm going to do okay. the same thing here this Friday just so that they have screenshots Okay. Okay. Um, so I'm wondering if anyone else in the room has some thoughts. Are there are there things that you've done to help this problem? Well, I've done things, but I don't think anybody wants to do it. Basically, I went through everybody's uh, pathways in in the club and identified where what they had done. And in some cases, I went into toast toast to find out if they had given other speeches. I mean, some of them had even lost track of the speeches that they had given, and I had to go and and go back into the records to see what they had done and figure out what speeches they might have accomplished. And uh, and then I contacted them and I said, this is what I see. This is where you are. We really need this. Uh, we need this credit. Please go ahead and finish it and let's have a conversation if you don't know how to do it. And I'll show you how to get through it fast. And that's what I've been doing. And it's it's a boatload of work. Yeah, I, I have a spreadsheet. To keep track of all of them, too. So it's uh, yeah. To different members, like you mentioned, somebody mentioned they got four or five speeches they've done, just haven't gotten credit for it in Pathways. Yep, yep. Well, one thing I'm telling them is please, whatever you do, put the name and path project in base in uh, Toast Host, and then at least I have some place where I can find a record. Because then you can get a report in um, Toast Toast that tells every speech that person's ever given if they put their information in. We've actually been doing um, speeches and uh, we've, De Marie and I've been um, going through doing speeches and uh, motivational speeches, talking about uh, pathways. Uh, what else have we been doing? Demory speeches. Um, we've been doing assessments with individuals, having each individual come in, talking to them. Um, what are their goals? What are their aspirations? Tell, telling them how Toastmasters uh, pathways can help them with their um, their personal goals, their career goals whatever they you know whatever they want um so we talk to them as far as what they want to do how toastmasters can help them achieve their goals and then going through pathways with them and just going through the whole spending a half an hour 45 minutes with each person and going through the whole pathways with them and then um sitting down and actually step by step and going through and have, making sure that they understand how pathways works um if they have any questions and just even going through all the awards and recognition programs and just saying if this is what you want this is how we can help you achieve those goals 
and saying. And I can't add, add to what uh, Cassandra is saying. Once I had achieved the Triple Crown Award, which I didn't even know I was getting, I was just passionate about pathways and just doing what came next. But I've been able to take that and generate a lot of excitement in other people because until you get the person excited and unless they have a personal stake in what you're telling them, if you're mm -hmm. trying to tell them that we're trying to achieve what we need for our um, club success plan, they don't even understand what that means in, in so many cases. But when you can show them the individual personal side of it, that goes a long way toward getting them enthused in doing it. And what mm -hmm. I say as a VPT is that if you run into an area where you hit a brick wall, just call me and I'm, I'm available. If I'm not, text me and I'll get back with you. But you have to be available and you have to return that call to let them begin to build some trust in you. And then the other thing that we're doing, our president, uh, President Sweeney, is, has instituted a mentorship plan where she wants to know who needs a mentor for whatever. And I am not hesitant to go to her and say, we need someone to help mentor these this person through Pathways. If mm -hmm. they get someone that they can turn to that will help walk them through, because I think it's a fear of just not knowing what to do next. And mm -hmm. when they get frustrated, they just stop. Right. And so we're there, we're there. Each, everyone's there to help. We rally around everybody. We all are there just to rally around each other and help and help support and lean and be right there by the side for each and every person there. And so they know that we're there to help support you. And so that's how we work in the, within the club. Everybody knows that they can turn and say, Cassandra, I need this, or Dee Marie, I need this, or President Rosemary, I need this, or Cynthia, I need this, or, you know, the PR person, I need this, Dr. Uh, Nadine, I need this, or or uh, Carrie, I need this. We're all there. We will pitch in and help out. So we have two new people that have come in, uh, Denise and... Um, What's the Denise and what's the other Diana, Diana. Diane? And so they all have been, you know, we've been supportive of them and they appreciate it. I have a so question. They, they will probably get the tote bag. I'm sorry. We need to go back and look at that. They are, mm -hmm. I think they're qualified. Oh, no, they haven't been in long enough. You said it has to be a year. So that disqualifies them for that. I'm, Thank you. It's me. I'm there for, for the goodies. I just purchased one of the packs. I have a question, Michael. Whether you have, whether you're serving both in the VPE and the VP for Pathways role for your club. Yes. Is there anyone in your club who you might be able to get some support from and maybe take on that VP Pathways role? even on a limited basis? Well, I don't, it's not an overwhelming thing to do both. I mean, it's- Well, except for talk. you- It's just that people, you know, to me, it's kind of confusing because we're, we're dealing with adults here. It's not that complicated. <laughs> you show them what to do. And then some people just feel they're too busy or, or it's not that important to complete yeah. it. So I, I was just think, trying to seek I guess maybe the magic motivational bullet here to help adults realize that that is an important thing to do. Yeah. I don't think I have a magic bullet, um, but you know, you might be able to get somebody to help you with the handholding. Well, we can, I, you know, like I said, yeah. some of the, at least two of the people I know are officers of our club. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> Well, yeah, that's frustrating. So that shouldn't shouldn't be an issue, but it is. Yeah, I'll, I'll get them. But it's uh, most you have of the to meet people where they are. Yeah, most of the people are doing it, and it's not a problem. Just got a few folks that, you know, they're busy. They they've got, you know, Kaiser uh, walk offs and everything else going on in their lives, and they're yeah. just not. Yeah, this is not high on their priorities. <laughs> 
Well, and it, uh, some of them have been from the legacy system, and they're used to having the manual where the all they had to do was get somebody to sign, and then they handed uh, the last paper over to the BPE, and they took care of it, and that was it. I mean, that this is a way more, and you go into uh, to base camp, and you go. So, is am I hearing correctly that if you know, like this is your fifth pathway and you're doing a icebreaker again, you can just go to the uh, um, uh, assessment before and the assessment after and then just click the end and it'll, it will go through or do you actually have to click through each page of the, uh, of the level? I, I assume you have to go through each page. I've never just tried to. Yeah, that's what I, I, I think I, I tried that once you know. and I don't think it worked. Yes, George. All you need to enter is the evaluation after. You don't even need the evaluation before. Really? That's true. Okay, I'll I'll try that. That's good. Yeah, it's desirable. I mean, honestly, keep in mind what they were trying to accomplish when they built this is to help people with the learning process and say, how, how was I when I started this path and how am I doing now? But I know, there's a but big George... difference between should and has to. <laughs> I know, but George, you know, I mean, I was talking to people who have been, you know, in, in uh, Toastmasters for years and have gone through bunches of the legacy system and bunches of speeches and, you know, to tell them to go and listen to all that stuff. I mean, I do, you know what? I find it helpful. Yeah. But you know what they can do is they can, they can go online and they can launch the project and they can actually download a PDF that has pretty much everything on it. They're right. not doing the online component, right. but they could almost treat it as though they had a manual in front of them. Um, and 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 the only piece they it actually has the assessment on there, so they can use that as a worksheet. You know, some people are actually going to print it out. I would assume. I mean, that's not the way we're going, but. For some folks, that's what's going to work. They can pencil out the assessment and they can go online and do that first assessment. And then they can work from that PDF for their entire project and then do the after assessment and then they're finished. That's what I'm going to be doing with the two members that I have that were on the um, printed manual. Yes. Uh, is to show them how that they can print their own. If they can figure out how to print it. <laughs> so I'm going to just insert myself for a quick moment. I'm okay. being called to get onto the Toastmasters TV time thing. They're starting a little earlier than I thought, uh, okay. which is why I'm sitting in a parking lot. So I'm I'm going to go ahead and I made you host, Gemma, and I'm going to go ahead and um, leave leave since okay. I think you you've got it. Okay. Right. Thank Thanks, you. Sally. Bye, Sally. Mm -hmm. Bye, Bye, Sally. Thank Bye, you, everyone, Sally. for coming tonight. Bye-bye. Bye. So have any of you used the PDF as, as an alternative? I have. I have. I've downloaded it. Sometimes it's easier and faster. But I like what George, what you said is all you have to do is do the last um, evaluation, the last assessment, and that that will... Uh, finish it. Uh, it is a little bit uh, mind uh, bending that to complete the path, you have to go through that last step. Because I'm telling you, a lot of people had finished all the other stuff, finished their speeches, blah, 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 blah. And they didn't do that last step, uh, which is to click that button, launch that last thing, go to a page that you've read 13,000 times already. And then you have to close that tab. And then you go back and then you're finished. No, then you have to hit uh, something to request the uh, the approval. So that's mm -hmm. like a lot of extra steps. I hope they change that. I hope they made it, it, it. It is very confusing. And I had to go to Toastmasters International. They had me to pull up my computer, get on the this, this site. And I had a level five that I had completed. I had completed the path, but until I did all those things and went down to this new form on the bottom side of wherever and clicked on it and freed the entire path up and then sent it in for the VPE of my organization to finalize it. 
it would have just hung in animated suspension. So I did not know that, but that did help me a lot. It really did. Well, I had an experience where I guess I had finished a path like a year ago. And then I discovered that I had never done the speech that said, um, evaluate your path. You know what, there, there's this last oh. speech you have to give. And it was not, you know, it was like, uh, what, what? I thought I finished this path. What is this? Reflecting, reflecting on your path. Reflecting path. on your path, yes. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Which one was that? I think it's part of level five, but it's kind of this weird. Yeah, it's in level five. Yes. Okay, that's, that's the one I'm and it, and it seems do. redundant okay. to me, but there's okay. many things in the pathways I think are redundant. Absolutely. So, yeah. so I'm, I'm, I'm anxious to hear one. how they're going to revise this and get it from whatever 11 pass down to six. Yeah. Someone's oh, really? going to enlighten us huh? tonight. Should I be moving on to what's coming up in 2024? That or? would be great. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Does now anybody have to... griping? Okay. Well, we can gripe at the end some more if we have questions. How's that? <laughs> Sounds good. Okay. And I, I, I heard you, Lindy. I'll see you later. <laughs> I'm fascinated by this next part, so I'll wait a few more minutes. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just adding this because I love this chair. slide. It always makes me happy. Okay. <laughs> All right. I am holding my breath, but I can't help but be a little bit excited. So we'll see. Okay. Pathways changes 2024. Some of you may have already read about them a little bit. So let's talk about what's happening. Number one, we're getting a new learning management system, an LMS and a provider. And we're looking at some major changes to the Pathways Educational Program. This is expected to launch the first half of 2024. So why is it happening? <clears throat> since Pathways, since the Pathways Learning Experience rolled out, members apparently have been quite outspoken about significant challenges with using the online system where the content is housed, which is Basecamp, and challenges with navigating the paths and the projects. Toastmasters spent a few years attempting to work with a current LMS provider to make enhancements where they could. Uh, but they ultimately, finally, determined that the best way to address the great challenges that we're all facing is to engage with a new LMS provider. As part of this process, they have also taken the opportunity to update Pathways content. Why? Uh, because folks are overwhelmed by the path options uh, and there's an interest for existing members in new content. So here are some of the benefits of the new learning management system. Um, you should, when all is said and done, <laughs> have an easier time navigating the system, launching your path, and working through the projects. When your path is approved, it will automatically be submitted for recognition in Club Central. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, pathways will be accessible to members who are visually impaired. Oh, wow. Good. You will be able to share your accomplishments across social media platforms, including LinkedIn. You will be able to access Pathways on your mobile phone with a mobile app in, to follow at some point in the future. I'm not sure how that's going to work. And the World Headquarters team will be able to provide you with content updates more frequently. 
So that's super exciting. I have no other information other than these basics, but I will provide you with a link. I'm trying to think. I could probably put that in chat. I'll figure it out. Otherwise, I'll send it to you, which uh, which will link you to a couple of articles on the Toastmasters.org website that go into a little bit more detail. Pathways content. Overall, paths and projects in the new LMS will have an updated look and a navigational feel and will include some minor content updates. When the new Basecamp system launches, the Pathways product offering will be revised to include just six of the currently available paths. And those are presentation mastery, persuasive influence, visionary communication, dynamic leadership, motivational, motivational strategies, and engaging humor. I'm sorry, are you saying that it's shrinking from 11 to six? That's correct. Wow. Yes. <laughs> That's, is that, is people the thought there was too much overlap maybe? Yes, so the decision to launch the new platform with these paths was based on a few factors, uh, including feedback from members, not surprisingly. <laughs> um, since Pathways rolled out, I guess many members have shared that they find the number of path options to be overwhelming um, and probably a little bit overlapping, which we've talked about before. Uh, oh, it's if someone starts one of the existing paths now. They will be able to finish it. Let's say they start it only a few weeks before the new ones come. Is there a deadline to finish it? Have they said, you know what I mean? If there was a dead, I'm sure there is a deadline. I just can't remember if it specifically gave a date. Okay. Um, but I, my from what I remember, there was quite a lot of flexibility built in to allow people to not only complete existing paths, but also to uh, purchase some of the paths that are going away by a specific date. So hopefully we'll receive more information yeah. soon. Emma, I looked into those paths. It um, turns out that with only a couple of exceptions, those are the most popular paths. Oh, well, that makes sense. That makes sense. So it sounds like anyone who's still working on an old path or one of the old ones that's going away, they'll probably keep using the old LMS system because they probably won't port over those old paths to, the, to this new system. Yeah, that's, that's what they said, Hans. They specifically said, we'll keep the old system alive specifically so you can complete your paths. Okay. So my guess is one might want to um, complete them sooner rather than later. Because I can imagine it might be a little confusing jumping between um, learning management systems. Do you know, know a question? Do you know if they have reduced the uh redundancy i mean we've got people who keep on giving icebreakers right mm. yeah obviously you can tell other things about yourself but the the first level one seems so much redundant <laughs> that's true i've had that comment too and it's like come on i mean uh, at least they could start at level two or something like that if you've completed a level one it would be for all six paths and then you could jump to the level two you know, I don't know the answer to that question. What I will say is I've done a few icebreakers now. And what I tend to do is focus my icebreaker based on the path that I'm on. So, for example, if it's engaging humor, then you're going to get a funny icebreaker. Or if it's motivational strategies, I kind of take the purpose of that path and think about how I might present myself differently. I definitely understand where you're coming from because I sometimes feel that 
but I also think it's kind of a challenge to think about how you introduce yourself in a different way. No, I agree. And that's a lot of people have done that. It just also you get the comment that, boy, this is really redundant. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not, other than challenging myself how to revamp myself into a humorous person. Yeah. <laughs> that pathway. Yeah. Um, anyway, it's hopefully yeah. they've taken that in consideration. I hope so too. I hope so too. Um, I have a question here. So we have a few new members. So should we steer them to the six paths so that they don't have to stay with the old uh, system? You know what you could do is you could let them know what's coming. And you could suggest that they might be more interested in those. We don't really know what they're gonna look like exactly, but um, I think you could give the information so that they can make their own decision. And actually I've never tried this. Let's say a new member made a wrong decision. So let's say their uh, the current a path is presentation mastery and then she said oh you know what i didn't realize there's no management skills uh -huh. so she's changing her mind can i change her path or, she, or can she change it herself i believe I, she has 30 days yeah, to do that i oh, did that i oh, did that yeah okay. you can do that you can't might... you just have to do it within 30 days but you oh. do have to reach out to toastmasters international and that's okay okay thank you so we have the change with the past and there will be some content updates and hopefully there will be a reduction in redundancy. And there is also going to be a new offering, which is called Explorations. Explorations is a short learning opportunity. And apparently there are two that they're thinking about. And I'll have to tell you what those are when I remember them. So I may have to circle back. Uh, but there are two, uh, and they are comprised of three projects each. And so it's a different way of providing content. And what they're trying to do is really respond to existing members looking to see something that's a little different, um, that's new content, that isn't an entire path with five levels and a lot of projects that they have to go through. Um, does, anybody, does anybody remember what those two uh, starter exploration uh, opportunities are? Oh, wow, okay. So I'll have to get those to you along with a copy of this slide deck because I'm forgetting them. But have they, have they done anything about um, including in s sort of pathway incentives to get people to take more leadership roles in the club, like the, the different club roles during a meeting and officer? That was one of the things that uh, um, competent leadership gave uh, in the legacy system and it really did get people to do things because it was another thing that they could check off but in this pathways it doesn't and it's much harder to get people to take different roles george do you know do you have any information about that i s you know a few people continue to be sad that the CL manual was not carried forward because that was the one that, that had checkoffs and credits for doing it. Uh, you should all know that that was not a popular manual. You know, I keep track of what awards are done. It was done by very few people, as best I can tell, mostly club officers to get DCP points. <laughs> so uh, there is a thing in Pathways where you do need to show that you've done several uh, club meeting roles. It's a little buried, but it's there. 
but as far as I know, they have not added that. But that's just simply a challenge for the VPEs and the officers to remind people what the benefits are of serving in, in meeting roles. Um, and they need reminding occasionally, I'm afraid. And one of the things that I have found that you can do to help remind people that the benefit, the roles at the club meeting count, and that's the OATM award. There's a place on the OATM award where you can get credit for any roles that you've served in your club, especially during an open house. You might want to check that out. That that does help. Thank you. Okay. Well, we are on to questions, which is an opportunity to return to the discussion that we were having before just about challenges overall or any other questions that you might have, anything that I missed. I have a question. Yeah. Hi, Eric. I recently have our club president. He's a, been a member for over a year and he just finished level one last month. Can I go back and record that somehow to get it to our area director? Um, for, for the treasure, the map, the treasure map. Is that what you're talking about or? For the Toastmaster to carry bag with. Oh, yes, I, I am absolutely sure that you can. Did you leave your email by chance? I did. Okay, okay. Because I know Lindy had that uh, presentation and she said she was also happy to talk to anybody that had questions about how to do that. So I will make sure that before we leave today, I download all of those lovely emails and... Um, you she can contact you with the slide presentation which i think goes into quite a lot of detail okay i can work with that okay sounds good just for my clarification your treasure map program is for those people that have been in toastmasters for a year but have not started or completed level one in pathways that's right Okay, so yeah. you, I think that should be stated every time because when people are thinking you're just going to complete level one and get a tote bag. Well, yeah, exactly. That's yeah. not true. Yeah. No, it definitely has criteria. So you are absolutely correct. Thank you, Michael. <laughs>